What is going on? Oh my gosh, what's going on? What's going on guys, it's Beastly here, and today I am doing another mod showcase on Minecraft, and I'm proper pumped for this mod showcase, because this mod showcase is about pet inventory. And basically a pet inventory is a pet that sits in your inventory and does stuff for you, but at the same time you have to feed it food. So let's go straight into this mod showcase, because you guys are going to love it, I think it's cute and amazing. So first we're going to start off the peaceful inventory pets. Now, the first pet that we're going to do, and this, this pet, I'm going to explain everything, okay? We've got an ocelot pet. Now, within the ocelot pet, it gives you night vision and scares away creepers. And that's amazing at night time, because you don't want creepers coming to kill you. Come on, who wants creepers? Like, they blow up stuff, they blow up your house. Why would you want a house blown up by a creeper? So what you have to do is grab the ocelot pet and put it in your inventory bar. Now, if you don't put it in your inventory bar, what's going to happen is that's not going to work. For example, that's in it, that's in here. Okay, so that's not going to work, so you've got to jump it in your hotbar. At the same time, get some raw fish and you can put that in inventory because this is a really smart mod. If you have your ocelot in your hotbar, I'm not 100% if this works, but I'm going to say it does work. Okay, if you don't have it, if you have it in there, the awesomeness is that your pet will look for its food when it needs it. So if your pet needs food, it will look for it and it will hunt for it in here, so you don't have to feed her anything. Okay, so there you go, straight away, uh, a bit of, bit of like a flicker in the sky, but still, it's, it's night vision, it works. Now, if I check this on the floor, so it's night time again. If I get it again, it's 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 daytime. Now we're gonna trickly just just change the difficulty to um I got sorry. Let's try just change the difficulty to like normal quickly. And uh, we'll see if we can guess a creeper. I saw one over here. There is a beautiful creeper. Now if I go near this creeper, it should actually run away from me. So whoa, see? See it wants to, it want they want to come near me, but they can't. Now, if I drop this on the floor, and pick it up again, pick it up, there you go, look, they, they can't, they can't fear me, I'll run towards them, and they just get scared, and that is just the greatness of this, they run so fast, <laughs> look how fast they run, <laughs> it's great, it's great, let's lead them away quickly, because um, look, they actually are attracted to me, but because I got the ocelot, so I don't even need it in my hand, they just, they just get scared. It's, it's, it's that great. Right, let me quickly get a diamond sword. Uh, I need to... Um, it's way too big. Right, let's just change the difficult bit back to peaceful. Uh, they're gone. Okay, so that's the greatness of an ocelot. And it will just hunt for its food, so don't worry about that. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Right, moving on to the squid pet. Water breathing, underwater vision, and swim boost. And that's amazing. And the same, you have to feed it fish, as it will say at the bottom. So I'm going to quickly just jump in this water. See, it's like a night vision. Oh, and sp wow, speed. Speed. Like, I can swim mega fast. That's amazing. I like that. That's a really nice mod. And, you know, it brings it brings a lot. And there's there's loads and loads of animals we've got to look at. Anyway, moving on to a chicken. Speed boost and gives you eggs. So you can have eggs in your inventory and not even worry about it. Speed boost is practically a potion that you'd have to worry about. So it's basically, these pets give you potion effects. And that's what, just, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing, that's amazing. Anyway, a pig pet, bonus hunger, saturation. Can eat poisonous foods, give you pork chops. So we can eat poisonous foods, and bonus hunger, okay. So we can eat bone, we can eat uh, horrible foods. Okay. Um. Um, I don't really have any horrible foods, but I'm, I'm gonna say it works, okay? So I'm not really gonna show you that, because I don't know, I don't have any horrible foods. Moving on, sheep pet, slow fall gives you wool. Okay, so it says slow fall. That did, that did, did see, right, ready? That did seem slow. Um, we'll do it once more. Right, that did seem slow. Now I'll chuck away the pet. Oh, I don't know. It, it does, I don't know. I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure on that one, but I'll just go with this word, and I'm guessing it, I'm guessing it's good. Anyway, remove negative potion effects, fills empty buckets with milk. So, let's get an empty bucket of milk. Um, get an empty bucket of milk. I don't know how this works. It uh, probably takes a few, it probably takes some time for it to be filled. If I chuck it in the floor and pick it back up. No, I don't know how that works then. Anyway, um, apparently it does that, but you know what? It's just not telling me. So we're going to leave it there. Anyway, now we're going to tell you guys how to craft the peaceful inventory pets. The first off, the ocelot pet. The crafter ocelot pet, you need 
uh, three golden nuggets at one side, three golden nuts at the other side, an iron gold ingot, a diamond, and a raw fish. Now, they both do the same, I don't know why there's two there, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the squid pet. Um, lapis nuggets, uh, raw fish, and diamond, and gold. Are you thinking, what's a lapis nugget? Well, with this mod, they give you extra stuff as well. So, we're going to move into that right now. These are what they are. You get lapis nugget, a coal nugget, an iron ear nugget, emerald nugget, obsidian nugget, and a diamond nugget. And to make these is literally you just get the ore and drop it in every corner of the thingy. And it's it's that simple. <clears throat> okay. So moving on. Oh game mode again. Just quickly jump out game mode. Moving on. Uh we have the chicken pet. And not gonna lie, they are all pretty much the same on how you make them. So uh for some reason I'm typing in this, but I'm not now. Uh, to make a chicken, you need feathers, a diamond, ingot, and a seed. So simple and easy. Moving on to the pig pet. Now you need redstone, a carrot, a diamond, and gold nugget. Super simple. Moving to the sheep. All you need is wool around the sides, some wheat, diamond, and a gold nugget. Moving to the cow pet. Uh, got a cow nugget. Oh, I actually clicked it. Sorry about that. Uh, you need a cow nugget on the left. You need iron nuggets on the right. You need a wheat at the top. Diamond in the middle and gold ingot in the bottom. And that is so simple. Moving on to the mob inventory pets. And these, these are pretty cool. Not gonna lie. The, these, these, this, these type of stuff I enjoy. So we can start with a gas pet. Shoots fireballs, right click. So these are pets you have to right click and it allows you to do stuff. And I thought that was a really cool, cool thing to have. So, well, I just shot a fireball. I can shoot as many as I want. This is great. It's, it's an awesome thing. You, who wouldn't want this? I can set the whole world on fire. This doesn't just try to even kill that horse. It's awesome. I love it. I love it already. I want to have it. Anyway, moving on to the spider pet. Jump boost. Ball climb. Hang on wall. Uh, left shift. Gives you s string. Gives you string, apparently. Oh, wow. So we can hang on walls. And we can climb walls. This is great. Oh. Oh, but you can die full damage. Okay, so full damage is not a big problem, though, because I will show you something. If there's something about full damage... Uh... No, it's not. Anyway, uh, that that sounds like a pretty cool pet. I like it, and I want to keep it, and it's good. And the good thing about these pets, you can actually have more than one pet attached with at the same time. Anyway, Iron Gun, Temporary Shield. Um, I don't know what this is, but... Oh, wow! Aspiration, that's amazing. I like that. I really do like that. That's really good. Uh, knockback gives you snowballs. Gives you snowballs. I want snowballs. Be right click now. Uh, up that that sucks. Okay, I don't really like that. I don't really like that one. That one doesn't really suit me. Enderman pet. Um, obsidian nuggets. Uh, Enderman pet. Teleport. Right click. Poof. Oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. Um, this is amazing actually because I let you teleport, and that is just a big advantage. It saves you from using ender pearls. And it just brings a good good fun to the game, you know? Really good fun. Anyway, explosive. Right click, immune to explosions. So I'm immune to explosions now, apparently. Um, and it explodes. Does it say explodes? Oh, wow. Uh, okay, I'm going to stand over here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Okay, that is that's really cool. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not. I, ha I was just about to say, but you can actually just dig right down to bedrock if I really wanted. That's amazing. I really like this. This is really good. See, the people that make these plugins, they just show so much. Um, there's so much we can do. Oh, anyway, I'm not going to show you all from now on because I just want to show you a couple, and that'll literally just be it. Anyway, um, let's put this, put this back where it belongs. And not last and last, fire resistance and walk on lava. I'm not going to show that because there's no lava near me. But it's pretty much the same. Just drop it in here and voila, you can begin. Uh, moving on. Utility inventory pets. Now, these are so good. The, I, I just don't know why you would not want them. So, I'm going to explain. Uh, I'm just going to take a double chest pet instead because it's uh, it just saves me time. Uh, I'm going to chuck these in there. I'm going to put these in the bottom corner because I don't really want these. Um, I'm going to take a chest pet. I'm going to take a furnace pet. 
uh, take its coal. I'm going to take a crafting table pet and take its oak wood. Uh, enchanting table, I'm going to take its pet and take its books. A jukebox, uh, I don't really have, no, never mind. Uh, we'll take a jukebox pet. Uh, an anvil pet, we'll take an anvil pet. We'll take a nether portal pet and we'll take a brewing stand pet. So these are all pretty cool stuff. Okay, so first, what you have to do, utility pet, is basically open it, and voila, you've got your own little, you got your own little chest, and you can drop stuff in there if you wanted. A furnace pet, oh, seems to not be working. Um. Ah, right, I think they're all conflicting. No, it's not. It's just, it just doesn't want to work. Okay, enchanting table pet, awesome. Uh, oh, what? That's weird, it has like a health bar. Uh, jukebox doesn't really work. Um, Anvil doesn't really work. Never pull or never pull pet works. Um, that's pretty cool. And brewing stat. Wow. Oh wow, it gives you random potions. That's really cool. Oh, I did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. And it's really good. And these are the same pretty much. Um, but it's a shame that some of them don't work. That's depressing. Um. That's a real big shame, actually. I really wanted to hope these would work. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to show you how to craft them quickly. Uh, first, so simple, manage image that. Uh, image that. Basically, it's just all the same. I'll give you a web page to all the, all the looking, how to craft them, because it will save this video a lot of time and allow you guys to do what you want to do. Okay, moving on to these special pets. And these special pets are amazing. So I'm not going to take them out. I'm just going to show you what these are. Anyway, uh, a... Perpuculus cow pet, <laughs> health regeneration and fills empty bucket with lava and you need to feed it with diamonds. Obviously it already says. Secret of life equals that. Oh. That's that's cool, but I don't know what it does. Oh, resistance, okay. That's pretty cool. Um use Sana to help you locate ores and gems. Okay, so there's like a little there's like a little beeping sound to locate where they go, and I understand. Um, a, a summon minions. Oh, and what's this? Okay. Um. Oh wow, what was that? Wait, I feel like I'm on peaceful. It's not gonna work. Oh wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh wow, I can summon loads. Okay, I'm just gonna. These are all my little pets, so I'm gonna keep them. I quite like that. That's a pretty cool idea. Um, moving on to weather pets. I don't know what the weather pet does, but we're gonna right click, and it does nothing. Immune to weather. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna fuss with these. But I, hope you, I hope you guys have enjoyed this side. Now we're moving on to legendary pets, and these pets. Oh my gosh, they're awesome. Now to find these pets. To find these pets. They're hidden in special locations, because all the rest you can craft. These are in special locations. Now we're going to start with the slime pet. The slime pet, you can only find in treetops, okay? So, regular forests, uh, birch forests, and jungle forests. That's where you will find a slime pet. And a slime pet eats golden apples and any type of golden apples. And what it does, saves you from certain deaths, and that's amazing. These are really rare. Move to the puffer fish pet. You can't make this, by the way. Um, because you fawns and poisonous. Um, so I don't know what that is, poisonous, but I'm guessing it's pretty good. My favourite food is glowstone dust. Now to find a puffer fish, what you want to do, you need to find a sea cave. And a sea cave is covered by underwater breathing spiders. You should be very careful of that. Okay, and, and, this, and it's underground, so it's under in the sea, and you know, just look for them. Um, and this, this, this slime pet, they're not covered by anything, so don't worry about that. Moon from the cloud pet. The cloud pet is flash flight and lightning strike right click. Okay, so we're going to check that out because it has actually a thing we can do. Um, the cloud pet is actually found in the sky and there is actually one above me right now because I have seen it. Um, so we're going to go there in a second and we're going to find out what's up there. And it was covered by blazes. Um, so we're going to, I've got my cloud pet and, wow. So up there is my thingy. That's awesome. That's like the fall. That's really cool. Let's be killed. Of course. Let's kill it. It's dead. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on to our last pet and final pet. And that is the black hole pet. And I don't know how this works. Apparently it slows time. But um, I haven't really seen it slow time. 
And to find this pet, you need, I think it is, it is, it is underground, okay? It's underground dungeons, like the normal dungeons, and they're covered by really fast zombies. I don't know how this slows time, personally. Oh, what? It's like slop time. Oh, wow, it has. It's like stop time. That's awesome. Like, it's frozen them. Okay, I quite like that. Um, but I'm going to put that back because I don't quite understand that. Anyway, moving on. Um, that's pretty much everything. And I'm going to try to go up to that thingy castle. So I'm going to go game mode. Oh. One. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go get retrieve this, this little thing up here. But anyway, this is what a, a cloud one looks like. Um, they're not very rare. Because uh, you can actually change the config files on how much you find of them. And what are they? I found a ghast pet. So you can find other pets within these. Did not know that. Did not know that. So you can find other pets. Because um, there's a ghast pet in that one. Um, we'll quickly go over here and see what we can find in this one. Uh, we found a creeper pet. So that's that uh, explodes. Um, that's actually really cool. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, video on the mod showcase on the pets. I'll try to make it as fun as possible. There's just so much to talk about and I don't really want to waste you guys time because I notice that a lot of people do get bored of when there's a lot of detail involved. But if you do like detail and you do like taking it in depth, please tell me because I have a really long video on the furniture mod that I want to upload. But it's like 34 minutes and it, it literally involves everything all clamped into one video and i don't know if you guys would like that so i'm gonna leave that out for now but if you do like this please tell me because i just really want to upload more bot showcases it's a big thing for me and i think i can take it a long way and it's gonna be fun um so i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye guys